Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. Today on the channel, we have some new upgrades for our Traxxas TRX 4M High Trail. We have the new Mias MB18. So I have my MB24 sitting here on table. This is absolutely one of my favorite builds. So I can't wait to get this kit together and get it put on the High Trail. We're also gonna throw in a new Fury Tech brushless system and a new Enjora all aluminum transmission on this build as well. So let's go ahead and get over to the bench and check it out. So let's go ahead and take an up close look at all the upgrades we're going to put on our Traxxas High Trail. So we're going to start off the Fury Tech Torpedo GT5 2-in-1 ESC and receiver combo. This is 70 amps, very good transmitter and receiver combo, and we'll be able to link up our GT5 Fly Sky Remote. We're also going to put in this Fury Tech Venom brushless motor on this kit, and then we have the all-aluminum transmission from Enjora. This is metal gear and ball bearing. Now this is the standard gearing, not the low gearing, because I want to be able to have some high speed on this since it is a fun haver i want to be able to go ahead and run this guy quick but still have some nice slow modulation with this brushless system so let's go ahead and take a look at the mb18 so i got this in the same paint scheme as i did the mb24 so it looks like we have a very nice body there's the extra wheel and bracing in the back so very nice light kit and looks like we got some drivers as well and then lots of bits here so that's some shock mounting locations and some chassis frames and then what else did we get down in here lots of goodies so here's the side rails for this and it looks like we got a link kit which i did not expect that to come with this so that's very nice and then an instruction manual there's the rest of the links and then a very nice set of hardware, me, us, and a bunch of decals we're going to go ahead and dress this thing up with. So I'm going to go ahead and get this rig built up, and then we'll take an up-close look at it. All right, guys, here it is, the Mias MB18 kit for your TRX4M high trail. This kit came out absolutely fantastic. Took me less than 30 minutes to go ahead and put the whole thing together. Lots of scale detail, lots of quality parts, quality hardware as well. I love all the scale details, love the integrated lights in the front bumper, like the light rack on the front. We also have a driver and navigator on the inside. They give you a ton of decals to go ahead and dress this rig up to personalize it for yourself. We have a nice spare tire in the rear of the vehicle this thing looks very aggressive and mean i think mias has done a great job with it so let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood so you, there's a latch back here that you go ahead and undo you tilt these lights forward and then the whole body rocks off you have a couple tabs right here that go ahead and lock in on the chassis and then there's the swivel that locks into this rear part of the chassis as well so the great thing about this kit is that it comes with the mias lay down servo mount so you get lots of articulation it lowers that servo and it comes with the steering links and the high clearance leaks as well. So the transmission dropped right in. We have the Fury Tech brushless motor. We have the ESC mounted up in here in the rear, kind of tidied up the wires a little bit. Let's go ahead and check out the lights on this rig. So we'll get our remote turn on and then we'll turn this on. So the lights on this are extremely bright. They've done a great job. Let's go ahead and get the body back on. So to get the body on, you go ahead and tilt these lights forward. It will pivot and then lock into place. You lock that switch right there and then tilt your lights back up and there it is. So they have done a great job with this very aggressive looking. So let's go ahead and get this guy out for a crawl.
All right, guys, I had a lot of fun building the MB-18 kit, and I had even more fun crawling it and bashing it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the pros and the cons on this. And the number one pro for me is all of the things that come with this kit. You get an aluminum laydown servo mount. You get the steering links to go with that. You get high clearance links. You get a chassis. You get a body. You get two sheets of decals and two different sets of lights. For $39.99, I don't think there's a better bang for the buck upgrade for your TRX4M high trail than what Mius has to offer here. That is a lot. Just the links and the laydown servo mount are close to being worth that price, let alone everything else you get for this kit. The high clearance links are very nice. Front steering links are also very nice. The aluminum laydown servo mount fit perfect for the seven kilogram and George servo we put on there. Now, choosing the Python RXF was a perfect choice for this rig because underneath the hood there's not a lot of room to mount the ESC and receiver so having the two in one and being able to use the GT5 remote to go ahead and set this up was a perfect choice so I'm glad I did that the Venom motor also ran very well you can see we get a lot of speed on this with a standard metal gears the ratio is the factory ratio and we were able to slow crawl this rig as well so all in all I'm very pleased with the way that this turned out I really like the MB24 kit but the MB8 18 kits takes it up a notch from me us and I think they've done a great job definitely the best bang for the buck on any TRX 4M kit or upgrade that I've paid for so far $40 for this is an unbelievable price but nothing is perfect we do have a few cons with this one the number one con for me is is once you put the battery in it's in there there's no way to get it out unless you want to take out the driver and navigator every single time and remove the screws and pop that out so I had to dedicate a battery into this which isn't that big of a deal I do like to be able to remove my batteries though but I just take the leads out charge it while it's in the vehicle and just leave it in here but I like to keep track of my batteries make sure that I take them out of my vehicles this one it's just gonna have to stay in there and then the other con is is I've never seen the amount of different types of screws for a kit of this size in my life I'm guessing somewhere between 12 and 14 different types of screws flat heads button head cap screws which isn't that big of a deal but when you are putting this together you have to make sure that you are putting everything in the right place and that you do not over tighten anything or you will strip it out and ruin the kit. Now, it is very nice hardware. Just pay attention with the instructions when you're putting this together. But all in all, I highly recommend this kit. It, for $40, it's unbelievable everything you get in it. So very happy with that. Love the GT5 and love the Fury Tech electronic system that I put in this. So don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, drift, repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and the bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.